What's going on, people? Seven LG Francis, go to work in the lab. Today, I'm gonna to be using my buddy here, the medicine ball. It's time to have some fun. Let's get it. Let's go, 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 go to work, go, go, go to work, go, go, go to Let's work. Let's go, go, let's go. 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 First exercise we were doing is called the backward slam. What we're doing with this is you're throwing over the back and hitting the wall with it and then letting the rebound back into the hand. What this does, and I'll give you a good demonstration, when you're lifting and arcing up, it's working a lot of the shoulder, it's working a lot of the back, and you're also getting a lot of lats too. A lot of people don't know. A lot of this all is connected, that's why I call it connected chain or kinetic chain. You go ahead. Abs is connected, waist is connected, back is connected, shoulders connected. So when you're doing this, you're working all of it at the same time. Kinetic chain, baby. So slam it against the wall. Please, please, disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer. If you're gonna throw it up, make sure you hit the wall hard enough to where it don't come down on your head. So we don't have no broken necks around here. I don't need nobody suing me. All right, up, slam it hard enough. High enough. Make sure it comes down. All right. Go to work. <laughs> <laughs> Murder on the arm. Murder. Next exercise we're gonna do is a little bit of a combination. Chest pass off the wall, you're catching it. You're going side to side with it. Now when you go to the side to side part, let's go through that first, because to me that's the most important part. It's important that when you catch it, and you go side to side, that the back is straight. All you're moving are your arms from side to side. What that does is it gets those obliques engaged. That side core, that side ab, those sex lines that every girl likes about the guy, you feel me? All the times y'all guys ask me about how you get ripped right here, well this is part of the reason you get ripped right here. It's because you're addressing it. You're not <clears throat> twisting and shouting and doing all that because if you do that, you're not getting nothing here. Lock it in, lock that waist in, boom, boom. So, chest passed out, it should be strong enough to bounce back, then you're hitting it right here for that side core, for the more That's That chest pass, of course, of course it's gonna do chest, right? That's why I call it chest pass. Then, arms back, all of that. But the most important part for most of y'all is core, right? Hit that side, hit it right. Go to work. <laughs> Ladies and gents, this is one of the hardest things that, one of the hardest exercises I teach my clients and all of them hate it. Cause it has to do with two of their least favorite things, the medicine ball and the squat. So my thing is, if you don't like something, right? Why not put the two things you don't like together and make it even worse? No? All right, well anyway. So, what we're doing is, your chest pass up, you catch it. As soon as you catch, you squat. Up, now. Up, down. See, I'm such a show off though, that I like to kind of make it seem like it's not really anything, so I put my arms up like, oh, this doesn't really want anything, but maybe you shouldn't do that. So then, you should just go boom and up, boom and up. As soon as you're catching it, you're bending. Your knee's already bent for support. This is gonna get, of course, the calves, the quads, the core, the back, everything. Not to mention the shoulder, because you're launching the ball in there. You're launching it there, and you're catching it. Boom, squat. So you're getting a little bit of everything. It's a full body thing, all right? And if you want to be a show off like me, then please, just act like you don't weigh nothing. Nothing at all. Go to work. <laughs> <laughs> Whew. 
This last exercise should probably be the most simplest for all my ragers out there. It's called a ball slam. And it's so, so describing. What you're doing is you're grabbing the ball, holding it tight, make sure you hold it tight, firm. Lift it up, and then you slam this thing with the fury of a thousand Vegetas, people. All right, you come down, boom, bam. Make sure you slam it hard enough to where you can catch it. You're trying to make the ball bounce straight up, right back to you. What you're working, that back, the arms, them shoulders, the legs because they're bent, the knees because they're bent, tricep, bicep and a little bit of ab. If you like everything that you saw today, all you gotta do is pick one of these up. As I always say, there's no excuse. All it takes is a little bit of effort and creativity. Till then, live well, eat well, work hard, be creative, go to work.